consider a game of two players say let the first player be max and the second player be min in the game assume that max makes the first move and after that the players move alternatively taking turns let us now look at the different components of the game firstly we have the initial state which includes the board position and the player who will move next we have the successor function this successor function returns the list of successor moves and the state they will result into the third are the terminal states these are the states where the game has ended and finally we have the utility function this function gives a numeric value to all the terminal states high values are considered good for max and bad for min so when we have a set of moves and the initial state we construct a game tree for the game and we'll now just see what a game tree is what you are looking at is a search tree for the game tic tac toe now see this the initial board position and the player who will make the first move max this gives the initial state of the search tree which we previously discussed now consider that this particular node has a successor function so successor function will give a list of all the successors successor moves that are possible so these are the nine moves that max can make through the initial node and similarly the successor function for min will give a set of moves that min can make so and now let us have a look at the terminal states terminal states are the states where the game has ended this particular terminal state is plus 1 has a utility value of plus 1 because max is winning in the state and consider another state where min is winning this will have a negative utility value so positive utility values and higher utility values are good for max and lower utility values or negative utility values are bad for max so these were the terminal states and these have utility values so plus 1 was given to this one and minus 1 was given to that one plus 1 is a good one and negative 1 minus 1 was a bad one so our aim is to maximize the utility value for max because as we looked positive and higher values are good for max positive and higher utility values are good for max and negative values are bad for max so our aim at the end of the day would be to maximize the utility values for max now the question to ask is how to find an optimal strategy for max how to decide that which move is best for max at a particular instant so to understand this we'll look at a simple example of a game this game will consist of two players max and min and max will make one move and then min min will make one move so this game will consist of two moves one by max and one by min and the initial state will consist of a single node and max max will make the first move so we can have a look at this max makes the first move and then min makes a move max has actually three choices for making a move a1 a2 and a3 now similarly min has b1 b2 b3 for a1 then the other choices are c1 c2 c3 and similarly d1 d2 d3 depending upon what choice max made and then we have the terminal values the terminal states will have utility values and just remember higher the utility value the better it is for max so we can have a look 2617343222 are the different utility values of the terminal states b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 and d1 d2 d3 these are the terminal states with utilities now 
to find an optimal strategy we will need something known as the minimax value for a node the minimax value of a node is actually the best utility value that the node can achieve so say if we have the minimax value of the root we will know the best utility value that it can achieve so starting from the terminal states the minimum minimax value of a terminal state will be equal to its utility value so as we can look at the terminal states 2 6 1 7 3 4 3 2 2 the different utility values of the terminal states this will be equal to the minimax value now for a node of min the minimax value will be actually the minimum value of all its successors so the successor of min for example for b1 b2 b3 are 2 6 1 so the minimum value of from this is 1 so that will be the minimax value of that particular node similarly for other two nodes the minimax value will be 3 Because that is the minimum from seven three four and two. Because, because that is the minimum from three two two. And for a node belonging to max, the minimax value will be actually the highest value of all its successors. So out of one three two, the highest value is three. So that becomes the minimax value of the root node. And this is actually the best utility value. as we had discussed earlier the minimax value is the best utility value that the root node can achieve so this is actually the best utility value for the root node so the minimax value for terminal states is actually the utility value the minimax value for a node of min is the minimum of all the successors of that particular node and the minimax value for a node of max is the maximum of all its successors the minimax value at the root is actually the minimax decision and this decision leads to the successor with the highest minimax value at the root so this is kind of important so once we have the minimax decision at the root it will lead to the successor with the highest minimax value now to find out the minimax decision we have something known as the minimax algorithm So minim minimax algorithm actually is a recursive algorithm it consists of three functions the first function is the, the decision this function returns the final decision of the algorithm which is the minimax decision the second function is the max value function and the third function is the min min value function and all the three functions take as input the state of that particular node so all all the functions take the input as the state now let us look at the algorithm uh, the algorithm is a recursive algorithm that proceeds all the way down to the leaves of the tree and then the minim minimax values are backed up through the tree and as the recursion unwinds so the values are backed up when the recursion unwinds so uh, it consists of three functions the first function is the decision function and uh, it actually takes as input the state and it returns an action which is in successor so it computes first the value v which is the maximum value of the state and then it, that value which is present in the successor function that action is actually returned which is the final minimax decision and next we have the max value function this function takes as input a state and uh, if the state is a terminal or a leaf node then it returns that utility of the state because we studied that the minimax value for terminal is actually the utility value so now we are setting uh, v to minus infinity and for a state for every state in successor function we are finding the maximum of all the min values of the states 
so we are actually finding the maximum of all the min values of the states and these min values are computed recursively in another function known as the function which is min value function similarly min value function takes as input the state if the state is terminal then it returns the utility and for all the states present in the successive function of the min node it returns the min value of all the max values of the state and these are all computed recursively